Hi, I'm Lisa Leiter. In Chicago Business Today, new home sales. 2009 is a year virtually all home builders would like to forget. And it looks like 2010 could end up being one for the record books, too, and not in a good way. Consulting firm Tracy Cross & Associates estimates that Chicago area new home sales will total between 3,000 and 3,200 units this year. That's well short of last year and a new low. This would be the fifth straight year new local home sales have dropped. Builders sold just 765 new homes in the third quarter, down 10 percent from the previous period. 2010 was off to a good start with two quarters of rising sales, but hopes for a recovery faded fast as the first-time homebuyer tax credits expired and the job market remains tight. Local unemployment stands just under 10 percent. The success and the excitement and the urgency that we were feeling from the prospects coming into our models, it was purely driven from the tax credit, especially from uh, first-time buyers. A lot of our townhome communities and the lower price points, you know, that urgency to get in there. I mean, we felt it. March and April felt like, you know, 2005, 2004, 2006 kind of time frame when the market was at its height. Balser's Act says new signups dropped by about 30 percent since the tax credits expired. Sales have been strongest for homes under 250000 which attract first-time buyers who don't need to sell their current house. For the builders who have managed to steer clear of foreclosure or bankruptcy, many have slashed prices 25 percent or more. The median price for a new home dropped to 358000 in the third quarter. That's down almost 3 percent from a year ago. The distress among home builders is creating opportunity for well-capitalized companies like Pulte, the nation's largest home builder. Pulte recently bought a half-built foreclosed development in southwest suburban Burr Ridge and plans to offer the townhomes for about $100,000 less than the original development Kinar was asking. If you're building in the right location, the right schools, the right price, the right product, the right amenities, um, it, will, it will be successful and we will be profitable. Still, Balserzak admits that even with the deals to be had, the local job market needs to improve before a full recovery will take hold. It's going to be a rocky road um, probably the next 9 to 12 months um, and hopefully things start improving at the end of next year going into 2012. Uh, it's just the amount of homes on the market. There's 70,000 homes um, on the market, new and, and existing homes which is more than any other major market in the country. Of course, ridding the market of foreclosures and short sales will also help. Right now, Illinois ranks among the 10 highest states for foreclosures. And that's this edition of Chicago Business Today. For more on this story, be sure to check out chicagorealestatedaily.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.